Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Calvary greetings to you all, my brothers and my sisters, in the mighty name of Jesus. This is just going to be a short message, a prayer for hope. I believe we all, we need help. And this is a prayer for help. Let this prayer help you. If you have not been praying before, Learn how to pray. You see, God is a wonderful God. He has given us the privilege to come into his presence. He has given us, if you are a child of God, you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. You have received him as your Lord and personal Savior. Use this privilege that Jesus Christ has brought for us. Use this privilege that Jesus Christ has given us. It's like God giving you a blank, a blank check and ask you to write whatever that you need. Use it wisely. To what? To approach Almighty God. The Bible says in the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 6, it said, Be careful for nothing. Do not worry. Do not allow anxiety, depression to bring you down. Do not allow what is happening in the economy to make you go into depression. Do not allow what is going on in your marriage to, to go into depression. Do not allow what you are facing in your marriage. Maybe whatever, I don't want to mention anything, whatever you are facing in your marriage. Because everybody, as we all are, as individuals, we all have problems of our own. Your own may not be my own. Z own may not be Y own. W own may not be X own. Everybody has problem that they go through. So you as an individual, don't allow that problem to weigh you down. Hand it over to Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ has given us that privilege he said, call unto me, Jeremiah 33, verse 3. He said, call unto me, and I will answer you. I'll show you great and mighty things that you know not. So in this prayer for help, call unto God. He will answer you. He will help you. He will deliver you. He will bring you out of that problem. He will bring you out of that crisis. He has given us privilege, use that privilege wisely. He said that when you call, he will answer, he will hear you. God is listening to you. God is listening to your request. God is listening to your prayers. He's, he's, he's waiting for the time that he will manifest his power in your life. You know, when you want to go to office, maybe a big office, there is secretary there. There are protocols you have to follow. And when you go to the kingdom of God, there are also protocols you have to follow. The protocol is you having faith in God. He said, have faith, trust in him. He said that for with me, this is impossible. Therefore, with God, all things are possible. So that is the protocol you have to follow. And God has opened it for everyone to come to him. This privilege is only applicable to those that have accepted Christ as his Lord and personal Savior. Jesus Christ said, I am the way the truth, and the life. No man comment unto the Father except by him. So if you have Jesus Christ in your life, you have this privilege to call our Father. And there is no shame 
There is no third party. There is no body you should go through. Go to God directs. He has given you a direct line to call him. There are times like some, maybe you want to admit that the GO. There are, there, there are protocols you have to follow to see him. But God has given you what? A direct line. Direct access to call upon him. So make this prayer your prayer point. Psalm 70. I will read verse 1 to 5. Say, make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be turned backward and put to confusion that desire my heart. Let them be turned back for a reward of their shame that say, aha, aha. There are people because of what you are passing through that say, look at, she has been calling God. She goes to church every day. Look at her problem. Look at her situation. Look at her. Maybe you are there, you are looking for the fruit of the womb. You say, ah, since you have been calling God, what has God done for you? My sister, God will shock all your enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe it's in the area of your marriage. Eh, look at this one. She has been going to church. What has God done? She has become a uh, old woman in the house. My sister, God Almighty, we shock your enemies in Jesus' mighty name. Maybe you are a student. You, you cannot comprehend what they are saying. God Almighty, we come true for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Or maybe they have been laughing at you. You are sick. They say, as ah, since you be praying, look at you. Your body is full of sickness. You are sick. You are feeling pains. You are this. You are that. God Almighty, we hand, handle that situation in the mighty name of Jesus. If you allow him to handle it, allow God to handle that your situation. You cannot fight for yourself. You cannot help yourself. Allow God. He said, Lord, make haste to deliver me. Make haste to help me. Oh, my God. In verse 4, he said, Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. And let such as love thy salvation say continually, let God be magnified. Let God be magnified in your life. Let God be magnified in your situation. Let God be magnified in your family. Let God be magnified in wherever you go. Let the name of the Lord be magnified. Let them see the grace, the, the, the potentials of God in you. And through that, God Almighty will be magnified. In your life in the name of Jesus. Are you dear? You are not doing anything. You have to get up and start doing something. And God will be magnified in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, in verse, I said, but I am poor and needy. Are you poor? Are you needy? Are there, are there things you need in life? Are there basic things you need in life? He said, make haste unto me, O God. Thou art my help and my deliverer. O oh Lord, make haste. Make no tarrying. As you have entered this new month, may God destroy every delay to your breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. May God delay, may God destroy every delay to your uplifting in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for listening to me. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, subscribe to it. Share it with others. Put on the notification bell so that when any video is being uploaded, you will see it. You will be the one to see it. Please, share it with others. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. <laughs>